Brooklyn Independent Television. Everything that we do has a lot to do with Marcus Garvey's statement about uh, a people without knowledge of their history, origins, and culture. It's like a tree without roots. Our goal is to educate and empower ourselves through entertainment. And not just ourselves, but to also educate other people as to what African culture is all about. We do performances in schools, performances in theaters. We perform at churches. We perform at weddings, at funerals, block parties anywhere that we're able to perform and educate. It starts out with research. It starts out with research. Whether it be traveling to Africa or bringing artists who are versed in the traditional arts to us, our goal is to perpetuate the traditional culture. So therefore, everything that we do, I try to be as original and as authentic as possible. My name is Mohamed Gise, and I'm from Senegal. When I was uh, in Senegal, I was in a company called uh, Mandinke Epoch, which is the second largest company besides the national company. I've been in Kaute for about eight years, and the pieces might be different, but the style is pretty much the same. Say why, and I commend it. It's, it's she's a blessing to find to find the time and energy to go back and look for this information so that she can bring it back and we can, we can learn it and then we can disseminate it. My children deal with the African music and dance in their own ways. They performed as children inside of our company. My daughter is a licensed psychologist and she uses African culture, music and dance with her clients. My son went to Africa to learn about stilt walking and study with some of the members of, of the National Ballet. Brooklyn Jumbies are a community-based program that deal in taking young adults kids and teaching them adult dancing and we work with Caltef. It's like one umbrella or one family. My son is my musical director. He deals with the rhythms. He teaches it to the musicians. Although many of the musicians are seasoned themselves. We put our time, energy in our drums and in all the instruments that we use. So what happens is that you become self-sufficient and independent so you don't have to depend on anybody. A lot of people don't understand. They just see the finished product and they hear it, but they don't know what goes into it. Where the normal person or all of the rest of our friends or associates where they're out hanging out at a party or they're at the club or they're at the movies and stuff like that. Most of the time, we're here fixing drums, talking about drums, exchanging music, and we'll start working on this stuff and we won't finish until like maybe three, four, five o'clock in the morning. And then those of us that have jobs actually will go straight, you know, we'll just bathe and then go straight to, go straight to work from there. We live, drink, and eat this stuff like we love it. When you can actually fix something or build something and the sound that comes out and when people actually hear it, you know, and it, you like, I did that. Oh 
I am a psychologist and I specialize in children, adolescents, and families. I've become really interested in understanding how um, particularly African dance and drum together can be weaved into therapeutic practice. You have an entire orchestra and each of those drums creates another vibrational energy. The healing process that happens through sound energy, which is vibrational energy, has been studied over the years in that it lowers heart rate, it actually changes brain waves in terms of delta patterns. When people are in the art form, you know, the stress tends to melt away. And that's often because it's a spiritual process, you know, and the music can take you somewhere that words cannot. Kaltef means coming from above or a gift. And our gift is the fact that we are able to pass down the traditions from one generation to the next and keep the culture alive. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.